And here at home, an update on the push to rename schools in the Cleveland area that currently bear the name of slaveholders. Cleveland State University's law school is the latest to be urged to make a change. Arlena Lai explains. What's in a name? It's more than, more than a name. More than a name. Mm -mm. A lot to a growing number wanting to change the names of schools bearing the names of slaveholders or other historical figures whose legacies are tarnished by racism. Placed on final passage. Cleveland City Council, Council passed a resolution years, Monday night urging Cleveland State University to change the name of its law school since 1916, known as the John Marshall School of Law, after the fourth U.S. Supreme Court justice known to have owned slaves. Anyone that have oppressed any any individual, our children should not be honoring them by keeping their names alive. It was students at CSU. I don't think we should give any attention to former slave owners at all. Who started a petition to change the name as the nation was swept up in calls for racial justice amid the death of George Floyd in 2020. The law school responded by holding town halls and forming a committee to lay out arguments for and against. We, sh we shouldn't be celebrating the fact that they own slaves. You know, the things they did accomplish, we shouldn't really forget. Meanwhile, the Cleveland Metropolitan School District is close to renaming schools, commemorating figures like Thomas Jefferson and Patrick Henry. The district identified five elementary schools named after people who had documented histories of participating in systemic racism and oppression. Instead, names like Stephanie Tubbs Jones come to mind as a replacement. And then that child will be able to see someone that looked like her and say, I want to become a judge or a prosecutor or a congresswoman. So that what's in a name can mean so much more. That's a beautiful thing. Lena Lai, 3 News. We will have more on this story and others on our Turning Point special this Thursday at 7 on WKYC.